Review copy provided by Ben Q. Hey everybody, this is Chewy Plays Nintendo, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Ben Q TH685 projector. I wanted to show you this new setup that I've got for my living room to do some gaming, to watch some movies. Um, this is actually my old setup, so I wanted to show you this first, but this is my TV. It's my very first TV that I ever got when I moved into my first apartment. These are our birds, you'll probably hear them <laughs> do some singing while I'm doing this. But as you can see, we've put up this big sheet kind of in the back. Um, and it's mostly because we got this projector here. So the reason I wanted to show you my TV is because we now have this BenQ TH685 projector. They actually sent me this projector to review and we've got it set up right here right behind our couch. Let me zoom out so you can see. Um, but we have it on a bookshelf behind our couch. Originally um, we wanted to put it up here at the top of this bookshelf but unfortunately we couldn't find a way to shoot it at this ang that angle, so we had to settle for this. Um, so one thing with projectors is most of them you're going to find are going to be like, you have to point them directly straight at the wall. This, In this case, this is one of those projectors. I was hoping that I'd be able to put it up there and be able to angle it, but it was not possible. However, it's still pretty awesome to have. You can kind of see our setup right now is a bit awkward. We've got a wire running through this little walkway, so it's something we have to deal with. But honestly, this room isn't quite set up for a projector, but I do really like how it works. So one of the reasons we put the sheet up there is you can see it right now because it's clear as day right now, but across the top we kind of have a bar and we have a couple little notches in these walls. I'll show you right here an example. So we have these types of notches in those walls behind there. So just to keep the picture as clear as possible and kind of like flat as possible, we put a sheet there. So, you'll see I've got my switch plugged in, and if we take a look at the back here, we actually have a lot of different inputs. Let me focus that for you real quick. So here's some a shot of the back. You have two different HDMI ports, which is pretty nifty, so you can plug multiple things in at once. You've got some audio in and out, so you can get some better sound here, though. The sound, I'm actually pretty impressed with how well it does with that. And then you've got a couple things to plug in your PC, get a monitor in there, you even have a USB and everything so there's a lot of different things you can plug in and then at the top here you have just some different controls but it did come with a remote so you can easily get the same controls from that that are up here so I'm gonna actually turn it on so you can kind of see it you're not gonna see it too well because it's during the day but I do have shots of this kind of at night we have kind of a big window and lots of lighting in this room so yeah I do want to kind of show you all of this and how it works I'm pretty excited about it all right so here it is from behind the projector as you can see it's day right now so you can't see it too well but but if you look down here, we've actually got some different controls. Here we are. We can zoom and focus with these little notches. So if I move it this way, you'll see the screen get a lot bigger. Um, this is a queen-sized bed sheet, so we notice very quickly that we're going to need a king to really fit the entire picture in there, but it's pretty cool. Um, so once you do like resize it to different areas, I'm just kind of going in and out for you, you do have a focus feature as well so you can make it nice and blurry if that's what you like but me personally I like a kind of clean visible look so yeah basically that's what we've got working with I'm gonna show you all some pictures of this well actually some video of it kind of at night and so you can get an idea of how it works I want to start by saying I wish I had a better camera to capture how great this projector looks. Between the camera and YouTube's compression algorithm, I really can't capture it at a quality that's going to give you the picture that I'm getting in real life. I am having a lot of fun seeing my games and movies on this giant screen though. So the BenQ TH685 is advertised as a gaming projector. It features a 1080p resolution with 120Hz refresh rate and 8.3 milliseconds of input lag. Basically, this means an HD picture quality and a really fast response time when you input any command on your controller. The input lag is going to be a lot more important for people who are into competitive gaming. 
Most television sets are going to have a much higher input lag than this, and if you ask any competitive player, they typically get gaming monitors that minimize input lag as much as possible. I actually have a gaming monitor for that reason. So I started out by showing Splatoon 2 because it's the most competitive game I play. I used to play competitively and wanted to see if I could feel a difference while playing. My gaming monitor has a 5 millisecond input lag and the projector felt really similar to that. It's incredibly impressive that the input lag is only 3.3 milliseconds slower on this huge screen. I mean, the screen is the size of my living room wall. Regardless, I didn't notice any huge lag when playing Splatoon 2, it just felt good while offering even better visibility with the sheer size of the game. I will say though, I can get a little bit motion sick when I play Splatoon too closely or on too big a screen. There are a lot of fast movements in the game and you can really jerk the camera around. So I actually made the picture a little bit smaller than my entire living room wall. The projector also has 3500 NC lumen brightness for living rooms. You'll notice that when the screen goes black, you can see the light from outside shining on our wall. We have a lamp post pretty close to the window behind us, so the shadow is cast against the wall here. As soon as the picture returns on Animal Crossing though, you don't even notice it. The projector is incredibly bright and can even provide a clear picture in living rooms like mine, where you can't get a pitch black setting. You also have some settings to adjust the brightness of the screen as well as really dive into the colors. If you don't have a white wall, well, the projector has some color options that'll change based on the color of your walls to better display the color of the game or movie you're watching. We just put up a white sheet, so honestly, we plugged the projector in and played. It was as easy as that. I want to point out that the sound you hear is coming from the projector. The 5 watt immersive chamber speaker with Cinemaster audio really captures the sound of the gameplay. Of course, you're going to get a soft hum from the fans running in the projector, but it hasn't really bothered me at all. Especially with the position of the projector being right behind our couch where we're seated, we can hear the game or movie very clearly. The hum is low enough that it just feels like white noise in the background. If you want though, you can plug in your own speakers and customize the sound to your liking. I actually have quite a bit of sound equipment around because of my history being in bands and such, but I didn't really think to play with this feature too much because I was satisfied with the sound from the projector itself. Like I mentioned a bit earlier, the projector has two HDMI inputs, so you can always plug in a couple of consoles or even plug in a computer to game or stream movies. You can also plug in a DVD or Blu-ray player to play your own movies. We've honestly used it more for watching movies. Jackie and I love going to the theater, but like many of you, we're quarantined at the moment. Having this projector has been really awesome to replace that experience for the time being. Now all we're missing is the concessions. I love how much we can use the projector for, and I'd actually really like to get a room truly set up for it. We currently rent our place, but I'd love to be able to set this up on the ceiling and get things engineered so we don't have to avoid some wires in the walkway. For now, this setup isn't too bad. I really only have one wire running through to plug the projector into the wall. I just remove it when it's not in use. I did mention that I wanted to put the projector up on a high bookshelf. Unfortunately, that bookshelf wasn't centered, so the picture was showing up in the top right corner of our living room. Any adjustment with the projector is focused vertically. You can adjust the vertical keystone and digitally shift the image downward or upward. You cannot adjust the keystone horizontally, nor shift the image horizontally. This was the issue I ran into trying to set up the projector on a bookshelf that would position it in a less intrusive place in the living room. Of course, if you are a homeowner or have more control over the space than we do, this won't be a problem. We rent, so there's no installing this projector in a way that would eliminate the extension cord we have to run across the walkway. Of course, that's all normal stuff you're going to run into with a projector. Figuring out a space to use it can be a challenge, but honestly, our workaround of putting it on the bookshelf behind the couch hasn't been too bad. That bookshelf is also where we keep a lot of our Blu-rays, DVDs, and physical games, so they're really easy to reach if we want to change up what we've got going. Having a projector is especially great for games with a lot of tiny details. The size makes the experience much more immersive. You can catch some details you may not have noticed had the screen been smaller. I already feel like the best way to enjoy any piece of media is going to be through this projector. Even if we get invited to a movie night at a friend's or family, I'll ask them if they want me to bring the projector over. 
So let's talk price. Now, this thing isn't cheap. It's priced at 799 US dollars. This is really based on how well the projector performs when gaming. It's also going to be more for people who really want to create a huge gaming setup or even host tournaments or movie nights at their place. I will say that even at this price though, it's less than half the price of an 85 inch or bigger TV. If you've looked at a giant TV, you definitely know the prices are going to be way above $799, and the size isn't going to be as big as what you could get out of a projector. Like I said though, this is definitely going to be a projector more aimed at people who want the ultimate gaming or theater room in their home. There's something about the projector quality that is just so satisfying when watching a movie, and to see your game at that size is incredible. If you are shopping around for projectors for your gaming setup, this one is definitely worth considering. It is built with a gamer in mind. I know I'm ready for this quarantine to end so I can get a good group of friends together and have a huge tournament, watch a movie, and just have some fun. Overall, I was impressed with the BenQ TH685. The only disappointment I really had with it was the inability to horizontally shift the image to put the projector a little bit more out of the way. Of course, that's something that won't be a problem for everybody. I am a huge fan of film, and with movie theaters being closed, this has been a great way to experience them from home. The quality is great, the responsiveness is excellent, and you can use it for pretty much everything. I've been excited to watch something each night, and seeing Animal Crossing across my living room wall, it's great. It gets me excited to play tons of different games, I'd recommend it to anybody who is thinking of getting a projector for their place. If you are interested in shopping around for a projector, BenQ has a lot of different ones available. I know people are on the Amazon craze, and you can find the TH685 there, however due to the coronavirus, stock is often out and prices might be a bit higher than on BenQ's actual website, so you can find it at a better price on their site with free and fast shipping as well. I hope this review has been helpful and please remember to do your research and find the products that are right for you. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments and I'll try to give you an answer in a timely manner. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.